Welcome back guys and girls here to Minecraft where today I want to get you guys into a little bit of something special so I was messing around with mods um, and then I came across this mod so basically um, the mod I'm looking at right now is called Armorer's Workshop so basically what this allows you to do is as you can see over here like you can make your entire own custom armor which you can apply to anything um, from NPCs to the mannequins that come with the mod as well as make custom texture weapons and blocks even blocks you can sit on so you could make your own fancy chair the way you want it or anything like that so let's get into the basics so here are a few of the basic machines that you only need actually to um, make this. Um, let me grab something real quick just to soon show this off. So um, the first machines we got is the armorer, the color mixer and a skinning table. So in order to make the armorer we are gonna need to make an equipment cube. In order to make an equipment cube you can use any color wool in a pattern like that with an iron ingot in the middle and it will give you 16 equipment cubes. The equipment cube on its own doesn't do a lot, it's just standing there, it's just plain of white. Doesn't seem too appealing to what this looks like. Then you got different versions of that, like the normal one, you got the glowing one which is made using glowstone on it and it will give you the glowing equipment cube and then we also got the glass one and the glowing glass one which the glass one is made with the equipment cube again and any kind of glass and then you have the glowing one which is in the same way by adding more glass to a glowing equipment cube or adding glowstone to a normal glass equipment cube so that are those, let's put those back in here. So, and the mannequin is real easy, it's just um, any kind of planks with a pumpkin on top and equipment cube in the middle. So as you already can tell, the equipment cube is the main item that allows you to make anything in this entire mod. So as we move on, because these blocks are just plain up white, like. I could make an entire armor but it would just stand out like white. So for that we're gonna need this block over here which is the color mixer. So in and on its own it's made with the same, with any kind of stone which can be the color for frequency if you use mods. Um, rose red on the top left, in the middle of the top is cactus green and on the right hand top is blue dye or lapis lazuli depending on if you are modded and of course again an equipment cube so on its own this block just stands here doesn't do anything um, I can't really do anything with it unless I would grab either the paintbrush or the paint roller which are basically made with a stick one iron ingot and an equipment cube on the top will give you one paintbrush the paint roller is kind of the same recipe but instead of one equipment cube in the top you have one in the middle there and one over there and it will give you a paint roller. The only difference between t these two is the normal paintbrush does only one block and the paint roller does a 3x3 free free area. So now the way this works is you can pick your own color, you can put some shade on it or anything. You grab this and it will instantly give you that color. So. In, the, in normal ways you will be able to paint your blocks of course same goes for the paint roller only of course it will apply to more blocks at once like so okay now let me put that back in here 
Okay, now, in order, after you have done your entire fancy work of making your armor and you want to give it some um, durability, you simply just grab, uh, let me let me borrow this real quick. So, what you simply do is you go in here, put like a diamond chest plate or anything, this is related with any kind of mod, so it will show up like the diamond chest plate in your inventory. But as you already can see, it says um, witches robes. So if I would put this on, it will show up like that. So basically, what it now is, it's it's diamond armor just with a retexture. So yeah, you can have that back. That's the skinning table. So. Let's get into the armor, shall we? So we're gonna need this, and we're gonna need this. So, the armorer, you already saw it quickly, so you got the equipment cube in the middle, it's two diamonds on either side, an ender pearl in the top, and the rest is just smooth stone. So, we'll give you this block, which will show you this entire grid, depending on what you choose. It, it's mainly always the head that shows up first, but you can change that into uh, the chest piece, which will also show the arms. Um, swords, which will only show one arm, and you can build out of that. And you got the bow, blocks, wings, uh, you can do anything with this. So let me go um, do something real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So let's just um, pretend we need a sword, right? Like. We're just gonna make a simple little sword. Um, I won't go too far into a detail thing. Just gonna make something simple. Uh, okay, let's do it like that. Just to make it look nice. Let's give it a little bit of a handle just to make it look good. That looks horrible actually, but can't be bothered. Let's make a little blade on it. Nine. Yeah, that'll do. So let's now uh, put this all down. So now there's our basic little sword. Uh, we could also color this a little bit. So um, let's grab a little paintbrush. Let's color like the back end a little bit and color this. Okay, that's our sword. Pretty basic, but it's there. So, now that we finished our um, sword over there, all we need to do is we give it an item name, so let's just call it simply sword. And then we need to put in an equipment skin template, which is made by combi combining four of the equipment cubes in a crafting uh, pattern like that and we'll give you eight of them. Then you click save and you got your sword. So let's um, actually clear this and put this on block so it isn't in the way this entire grid. So on its own, it now looks like this. So um, yeah, it's not much. So if you press your heart key, which is P from for standard, you put it in there. So now every time I would grab uh, like a random sword, Let's say I grab an iron sword, it shows up like that. Yeah. And that way you can also make your own bows and all that stuff. So, yeah, and you can make it more fancy and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, let's see. Where's the blocks? Uh, we got the skin library here. So, let's see. Like, 
If I would go in here, uh, no, this is not the creative one. Let's correct the creative one because otherwise I need to get extra templates. These are all standard things that are already in here, so you can and see you also got like the uh, a barrel. You get you get a barrel. Very easy. Looks like that. Or like uh, a glass chair. Yeah, who, who, who doesn't want to sit, right? It's just very simple. You have all the things you want, so that's kind of it for this mod. Um, I will try and put a link to the uh, mod in the description of the video, and I really want to give a shout out to the author of this mod. It, it really is a nice mod. I would love to see it um, updated to other versions. Right now, it's only in 1.7.10, but well, most mods are all in that area, so it should be fine for anyone who would like to make a mod pack. Uh, just be sure to ask the mod developer for it. But without anything I want to say, as always, please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or a comment. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do, because I would love to see the wolf pack grow again. It really would mean a lot to me and if you haven't checked out our Facebook and Twitter yet, they are both in the description of the video and yeah. So as always, I'm Blue Guy and I'll hope to see you guys and girls next time. Till then, goodbye.